Welcome to The Robin Graham Show, the podcast for purpose-driven women who want to achieve sustainable success without having to be on social media. Hey, beautiful friends. Welcome back to another episode on The Robin Graham Show. Have you thought about how you can grow your email list? I often hear people say, oh, I don't have enough people on my email list. I don't know if I can launch this successfully. And this this whole almost fear and intimidation around the email list and growing it comes into play. But there are ways that you can grow your email list. And if you don't want to spend 24 seven on social media, your email list is going to be imperative for marketing your business. It's a way to build community. It's a way to keep your audience warm, to stay front of mind so that even if your audience on your email list isn't hiring you today, they may know someone that they can refer you to tomorrow. So we are going to talk today about how you can use bundles to grow your email list. And my guest today is Dolly DeLong, and I happen to be part of a bundle that she's doing in August. And I want to share all of this with you so that maybe you can create a bundle of your own. Yeah. Dolly DeLong, welcome to The Robin Graham Show. Thank you so much for having me, Robin. I really appreciate it. Of course. I'm so honored to be part of your bundle. And because we focus so heavily on growing businesses and creating success without social media, this bundle and the heavy focus on SEO goes right along with everything that I say here on the show and with work with my coaching clients on. So tell us a little bit about you and how you got to this point in your journey. Yeah, definitely. So I'll try to keep this very short and condensed, but I am Dolly DeLong. I am based in Middle Tennessee. And so I um, I have a husband, I have two boys, and I have since 2018, I've been a full-time family photographer. So I'm a photographer first. And then in Initially, I wasn't going to be an educator at all, but then 2020 happened and I was forced to kind of pivot so I can make more money. To be mm-hmm. quite honest, I had to, I wasn't able to photograph during the year 2020 for so many reasons. And so I leaned into my strengths. And at the time, I thought that all photographers were organized and they had systems set up and workflows set up. That came very easy and naturally to me because of my background. Um, I have a background in um, mental health counseling and I worked in higher education. So for eight years, like I was organized for college students and we all like most college students are not organized. And so I was their organization. And so I took that personality trait and I plopped that into my photography business and it served me very well to the point other people were starting to notice it and asking me like, how are you doing this? And so in 2020, when I was faced with, oh, I need to like maybe make another stream of income for my business. Um, That's when I started leaning into systems, workflow, and SOP education. I didn't even know what to call it. I just called it, I just organization. I didn't even know what to call it. Um, And so my podcast started in 2021, the Systems and Workflow Magic podcast. And I have just been leaning heavily into teaching other creative-minded business owners about the power of systems, workflows, and SOPs, and launching um, very strategically ever since 2021. And it's been so much fun. And so, yeah, that I have two sides to my business, photography, and then the systems and workflow education. And I love it. It's so much fun. I love that you got creative and created an additional stream of revenue, because I think that is how we create businesses that are sustainable, right? Yeah. And we don't limit ourselves to one or the other for an income stream. So, and yours goes hand in hand. I know, and I don't know, listeners, if you're new, you may not know, but I was a professional photographer for a while, in fact, 11 years. And that's how I actually moved into coaching. And because my branding clients needed additional help. Well, so long story short, that is how I built my business though. 
people were so impressed with the streamlined approach, having systems in place, and Mm -hmm. then SEO to grow my business so that I was the go-to for headshots and branding in our area because I used those systems and had all that in place. So I love that you're doing that for other people. So as part of that, you have been creating bundles yes. and to grow your email list and, and of course, also to help other people. But I would love for you to tell us about your approach to building these bundles that are that have been so successful and will be again in August, but tell us how you do it and what we need to know if we want to do that ourselves. Yeah, definitely. So I was introduced to the concept of bundles by uh, Kate Doster. Uh, She's another online business center. So I have to give a huge shout out to Kate Doster. Um, But in 2019, when 2018, I had gone full-time in my business. And then 2019, that's when I started realizing, oh, I need to grow out my email list. There is power in growing out my email list. Um, I took an, like a list building course from Amy Porterfield. And then, so that, that got my feet wet in, in that world of the importance of email marketing. And so my email list building story was super slow. Most entrepreneurs, it was just been a trickle. And then I learned about the concept of list building through bundles from Kate Doster, probably around 2020, when we were all at home, stuck at home, learning all the things. And I was like, this is interesting. So essentially the concept of a bundle was bringing, bundling different resources, templates, courses that were of actual value that different contributors would sell and Mm -hmm. they would sell it under one price and, or they would bundle it for free. And so the whole point was for a limited time to grow your email list by using a bundle and you were serving hopefully a specific audience and not just random things bundled together, but a very specific thing bundled together. And so I really, I, I liked that concept because one, I, I knew I really wanted to grow my email list very intentionally and serve a very specific audience. And then two, I really like people a lot. I love meeting new business owners. I love entrepreneurs. I love sometimes being in the online business can feel, I don't know if you ever feel very lonely, but I feel very lonely because it can feel very isolating because I'm just working by by myself. And so I, I just, this gave me an opportunity to kind of network myself and get to know other business owners. And um, so I knew who to refer to. And so in 2021 is when I decided to lead my first bundle and it was called appropriately the systems and workflow magic bundle. I was because systems and workflows are magic. I just, I, so I decided to name it that bundle and it was very, the theme was all systems, all workflows. And I literally opened it up to every contributor. So I had like about 30 contributors that I reached out to and it was brand new concept for me. And I decided to do a free bundle in one week. It grew my email list to 4,000 by 4,000 subscribers in one week. And I was not expecting that. I was expecting maybe like 200, 300, but I wasn't expecting 4,000. So that kind of was a one pivotal moment for me to see one, the power of bundles to the power of collaboration and the power of collaboration with really good resources, giving people great value and serving new subscribers with great value because I was was receiving emails. This is great. I, I can't believe it's free. And so it kind of like gave me an idea. Maybe I need to do this once a year, add this to as a part of my income stream and make a paid version and get experts who come in and teach on a very specific system and workflow theme every year. So the next year I did digital funnels and then one year I did email marketing and then this past year I did launching and then this later this year we're doing systems and workflows of SEO. And so every bundle 
for me is very specific and it serves a specific audience. The, I, I don't want it to be a mod podge. I want it to be, or a hodgepodge. I don't even know the term. I don't want it to be hodgepodge. like, yeah, hodgepodge. I want, I want it. I want it to be very specific and the theme to serve a real transformation to happen and for these products to be of real value and not freebies because there's so much noise in the online space. I always want to be a really good, well-trusted bundle and resource. And so I really, every bundle, I'm like, this is going to be the best. And it, it really is like every bundle is amazing because of the contributors and the transformation. It, 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 serves for the for the buyers and so I yeah that's that's I it's been great it's been a great experience and it's been good list building experience for me and it has helped me navigate the waters of what specifically I want to teach when it comes to systems and workflows it's helped me build a little bit more confidence in like reaching out and building relationships with other business owners so for when you first reached out to me and you guys, this is the power of growing your community for collaboration. And sometimes collaboration can be one of the best marketing efforts of all. And I've experienced this by doing summits, by doing, you know, bundles, different things like that. It really is a great way where you can open the door to a new audience. It's kind of like guesting on podcast. You meet new people and then open the door for collaboration slash referral opportunities. So Brittany Herzog, who is a friend of mine Brittany. that I, yeah. right. I was on her podcast. She's been on my podcast. And so she introduced me or Dolly to me to be part of this bundle. So we will be sharing details about that bundle in just a minute. But Dolly, I want to ask you, like, as you approach this, and, and you kind of said it, like it gave me confidence in reaching out to other experts. So how did you go about identifying the experts that you bring into your bundles? Well, first off, one of the things I did was I did a, like, I, I had to sit down and list out, okay, who are the experts I know who could teach on a specific system and workflow? So my very beginning bundle, like several years ago, those were people I knew directly um, and that I felt comfortable reaching out to. But every bundle I've led um, since then has been me reaching out to trusted business owners and asking them, hey, who would you recommend I reach out to who would be really good about teaching this specific topic? Um, because for example, I led an email marketing summit last year and I am not an email marketing expert. I, I love looking at it like a system and a workflow. And I knew that in order to create a really good resource, I had to, I had to have like trusted experts who, who knew what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. And so I reached out to my network and I would ask them like, Hey, do you know anybody who would be a reliable contributor, a trusted educator, and somebody who is passionate about this topic. And so I do a lot of um, reaching out to my to my network. And then once I get ideas and names of potential contributors, then I do the what a lot of people don't want to do, the uncomfortable work of reaching out and pitching myself. Um, because to me, it's building a relationship and pitching. And um, I have gotten no's because they're like, who, who are you? You're, you're nobody. And so I'm just like, okay, moving on. So you do, you will get a lot of no's, but you get, I feel like I get more yeses than no's. And also I, I don't know if it's my weird personality trait, but getting no's fuels me to like move on to the next yes. And I don't know, maybe I'm like weird in the head or something, but I, you're not, I think that's, I think that's a great, like, it's that old adage, you know, tell me I can't do it and watch and me do watch it. Watch me. Yeah. And I think that, I think a lot of entrepreneurs have that spirit. I think that's yeah. why we're entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. I don't think that's weird at all. Um, I think it's a strength actually, but, um, so I would say too, like, 
it does take confidence to step out into the vulnerability of putting yourself forward to potentially be told no. And yeah. that's a beautiful thing. We all have to experience a no in order to get the next yes. So mm -hmm. I love that that fuels you so that it keeps you moving forward. So after you've reached out to people and you have these yeses, what's the next step to creating this bundle? And I know systems and processes are a huge part of, of this to make it work, but what yeah. are some of the I guess, nitty gritty or the tools that are necessary in order for us to be able to make this work once we've established our content, our focus, our theme, and then who we want involved. Yeah, definitely. So before I actually make the pitch to the potential contributors, what I do is kind of like my pre-homework phase for myself is, okay, so I know that the theme is systems and workflow, and I decide on a very specific theme for that. Um, so I do some market research with my own audience, and I say, hey, what what types of systems and workflows do you want to learn? Like if I were to lead another bundle. And so that's where I got the idea of SEO because SEO just trips up people so much. They get in their heads or they think it's overly complicated and then they don't do it. Or they feel like they have to hire out a $10,000 coach to do it for them. There has to be a happy middle, a happy medium. And so I decide on the theme. I... And then I like to kind of create a pitch template for myself so that I can better cast a more professional vision for the contributors so that they're not like, so what does she want from us? Like, I want to make sure I have like a pitch template, an email. Um, I like to show receipts to people like, hey, I've led this in the past. This is what it looks like in the past. Um, this is what my website looks like. This is what my vision for this looks like. So I have a timeline hashed out and I like to do pitch videos to every single contributor that I pitch to. Does it take longer? Yes. So I give myself ample amount of time and in, in that pitch, I try to be personalized with everybody. And then I ask them like, hey, does this seem relevant to you? Would you like to be a part of this? These are the dates. This is the promo period. Um, here is what I have so far. Let me know by a certain date if you're in or out. And so that way this gives, I mean, really the contributor plenty of time to decide if it's a, in alignment with their business and marketing. And then two, it gives me plenty of time to design the website, design the landing pages, decide on what my promo marketing material is going to look like, like for my podcast. And then once I gather all of the yeses from the contributors, then I start collecting, this is what I'll need from you by a certain date. So for the SEO bundle, for example, I had all the contributors send in their basic information, headshots, bios, a freebie that is in alignment with SEO, um, a real SEO, an actual resource that it's paid on their website. Um, and I collected all that by a certain date and I made sure to then make promo materials out of it. So listener, you're probably like, does she do this all in a week? No, I do this through for, I give myself a two or three month period before my pre-launch starts. So my pre-launch for this bundle started this week. And right now we're sitting at uh, June. Uh, I can't even, I don't even know the date. 20, I, it's the 28th. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's th this week at the beginning of this week was the promo period, the lead up to the bundle. But I had a pre pre planning period of two months leading up to here that I made sure to finish up all the graphics, all the promo materials, all everything that my contributors would need in order to feel successful for their own marketing. Um, because I don't like doing things last minute. I don't like putting things together a week before or two weeks before, because I look at um, marketing and you probably know this too. I like anticipation marketing and I also like marketing that helps you be forward thinking. So the best example I can think of is as moms, when we go into Costco or Sam's club or whatever in August, for back to school shopping, um, I 
don't think about back to school when I enter Costco. I'm thinking about Halloween because they have Halloween decorations everywhere. And so the big box companies are really good about helping you be forward thinking and thinking about what, what you need to like buy um, to plan ahead. And so that's what I try to do with my own marketing. I want people to plan ahead and to like have sprinkles of this period for my pre-launch. Every week I talk about a new facet of systems and workflows when it comes to SEO. And hopefully it will get people amped up, ready to purchase or ready to learn about SEO because I can't expect just to open it up next week and be like, okay, it's here. Mm -hmm. There's been no warm up. There's been no like excitement, anticipation building. And so I like to do that for myself for my photography business and for education. And then I also like preparing my contributors in doing that as well so that they feel they're serving their, the audience well, and then people want to, will want to join their email list. Mm -hmm. And I, you're, I mean, you were so great about how organized you were and how everything kind of flowed. And I, one thing that I want to emphasize that you had us do for part of the pre-launch is to create videos of what we were mm -hmm. offering mm -hmm. and you're going to use those as the week before. So like the, mm -hmm. the week before the launch, all those videos will go out. So people will get to know who the contributors are. And I think that warms them up even more to want mm -hmm. to buy like, Oh my gosh, I want to hear that information. So yeah. I think that's super powerful. So when you're talking about the timeline real quick, so is it about an eight week marketing period then? Um, I normally do eight to 10 weeks of pre-launch. So this week was, yeah, I guess it's about eight weeks from whenever the, you're going to laugh at me. You're like, you're organized. And now I don't even know what date it is. I don't even know. Like It's summer. It, yeah. It's it summer. Is summer. It's the same every day. No, but, um, the, when this bundle goes live, how I planned it out, how I plan out my bundles is I look at dates on the calendar that I would be very beneficial for, for me and my audience. And then I work backwards from there. So, okay, August 19th, I this would be a really good cart open period because I know a lot of my audience, their kids have already started school, so they're slowing down from summer or they're in slower season and they want to learn something new like SEO and to to market better for the next quarter or the next year. And so, OK, well, then how can I lead up to this specific date? And then I just count backwards from August 19th. And that is how I determine my pre-launch period. And so, and then I looked at my pre-launch period and then I thought, okay, I don't want to make content every week on the fly. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to batch out my long form content at least a month or two before the pre-launch begins. And that way my summer break is not stressful. My contributors aren't stressed out by me, like hounding them. Hey, like turn this in. Everything has a specific due date and um, it feels smooth. And if the launch itself, I'm hoping feels low lift for a lot of the contributors. Mm -hmm. And then when you, so then when you're talking about the actual launch, you're sending emails out to your community and I would love to know how many emails you send out per week. Yes. And then I would love to know what other marketing you're doing. I mean, I know mm -hmm. this, this is a promo right here, yes. Yes. Um, which is great. If collaborators have a podcast, it's a great way to one, fill our content, right? Mm -hmm. And then also educate our listeners, but also then promote the um, bundle and drive awareness to you. So brilliant. I love podcasting for yeah. that very reason. But tell us a little bit about that other forms of marketing besides email and podcast and how many emails we send per week. Okay. So during my pre-launch period, I'm sending one email every week to my list and I'm letting them know about my new content. And for me, my content is also podcasts. So I'm driving traffic to my podcast for having them listen. And I'm driving traffic to I, sometimes I have the wait list. I, I normally open up the wait list eight weeks before because I have that already and I'm trying to grow out my 
segment for that wait list through for because those are going to be my warmest leads to want to buy. Mm -hmm. Um, During this period of time, I'm also marketing through, I have a YouTube channel that I create like very short form videos, um, quick bites of education that correspond with what I spoke about in the podcast that week. Mm -hmm. So my hope is like from YouTube I see that as very cold marketing, like my coldest leads are coming from there. I see my podcast as my, some of my warmest leads because nurturing, nurturing, nurturing. And then of course, email. I'm always trying to drive people to my email list because that's my hottest leads. Um, and then, and then I have a, I am on Instagram for two reasons. One, because I love, I just love, it, it doesn't drain me. I love Instagram and two, that is, I'm a very visual person because of my photography background. And so I'm usually on Instagram talking, talking daily in my stories and pushing people to either um, get on the wait list or I'm talking about what happened in the podcast that week, or I'm like somehow tying it into the content of that week and planting seeds of Not talking about like, you need to buy the bundle, but talking about their objections about why they wouldn't want to learn about the systems and workflows of SEO. And I am talking about it at a different angle every single week. And so that is how my pre-launch period looks like. And and on top of that, I'm doing lots of cross-promoting with other contributors like yourself. Those are really my four main things that I do. I one day I'll feel confident enough to do Facebook ads and to drive traffic to a wait list in that way. But for now, I like to focus on a lot of organic marketing. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think there's a lot to be said for organic marketing too, especially when you have a plethora of collaborate, collaborators that are helping to promote it. Um, you don't have to have the ad spend. And, you know, we know that that can be almost like a crapshoot, you know, like, is mm-hmm. it going to work? Is it not going to work? So do I invest? Do I not? So I love the organic marketing. And um, okay. So I think that's all my questions for right now. Okay. But um, so let's talk about the bundle. Like when okay. does it go live? When, how can people access it? All that good stuff. Yeah, so the bundle goes live August 19th of 2024, and at the time of this recording, that's like eight weeks from now, and if you are interested in checking it out, I know, um, Robin, you're going to have all the links in the show notes, Mm -hmm. and I would encourage listeners to, if you're listening to this live, um, the week this episode airs is supposed to be the week of August 13th. And that's when our audio summit comes out. So that's kind of like the appetizer to the bundle. So if you're like, ah, I'm not sure if I want to purchase the bundle, I just want to meet the contributors and see what they're talking and teaching about, then we've mapped out an entire SEO audio summit series. And I call it like an appetizer to what is going to happen in the bundle. And that way you're going to meet all the the educators, the contributors, you get to learn one juicy SEO tip to, to really take home and start applying to your business immediately. And then you get to find out, okay, do I want to invest in this bundle or do I just want the free edge? Either way, I want listeners to be served. And also when you sign up for the wait list of the bundle, you get immediately, you get access to 20 free SEO resources. And I did this for the contributors. Um, They're all from the contributors so that the contributors can continue to grow their email list and get to know new email subscribers and hopefully like grow their own brand. And so I am I'm just trying to make SEO very approachable for people this year. And um, I've been calling my podcast series on the systems and workflow magic podcast the summer of SEO. So the summer has been labeled the summer of SEO. And I just, I just want to make SEO approachable for, for lots of business owners. Which I love because it's such a powerful strategy to have in place. All right, Dolly, how can the listeners find you and learn more about you and connect with you? 
Yeah. So you find me on Instagram. I'm at Dolly DeLong Education. And I also have a podcast, the Systems and Workflow Magic Podcast. And new episodes come out every Monday. And um, they're pretty beefy. So if you like beefy episodes that are feel like master classes, then you're going to love listening to me talk with a new contributor or new educator every week. Um, We try to get deep into some strategies of systems, workflows, and SOPs. That's awesome. And I just want to emphasize the importance of strategies and SOPs and processes and systems because you cannot build a successful business without them. You have to have those foundational components in order to grow, in order to serve effectively, to have good customer service, which ultimately gives us referrals. So such a strong supporter of systems processes and SOPs. So listeners, thank you so much for being here. I do hope that you will go to the show notes and click through the links to the bundle. I think, I know what I put in the... Um, the pre-audio recordings for the summit there and it there's a juicy tip there and I know I know all the other contributors did the same so and then of course with the bundle you have access to so much there's even um for a limited number of people a free coaching call with me so definitely sign up for that and support Dolly and I will see you guys all next week 